Let's talk potato cannon. This is my own potato cannon that I made a couple of months back. And safe to say, it's looking a bit sorry for itself. This thing didn't really take off. Well, it, didn't, it did take off, I just didn't give it the love it needed. So today, I'm gonna to be doing some much needed upgrades. Excuse the very primitive drawing, but this is essentially a little drawing of our potato cannon, as it is right now. So, the idea is basically, in here we pressurise it up, this is the chamber where it stores the air, ball valve, open it up, pee out we go. So, what I'm planning that we do, is we add a little extra reservoir on top here. That reservoir will held, hold an extra air chamber, which we shall use. We shall be ditching the handle on here, replacing that with an air actuator of some kind. Here we'll have a, an air valve, which shall be operated electrically. So the idea is, you pressurise this up, you press a switch which opens this valve, which operates the actuator, and hopefully she'll open the ball valve, making all this happen off of the press of a switch. That is the plan. What we're gonna need to make this happen, obviously we've got the potato cannon, but we're gonna need something to make an air chamber out of. We're gonna need an air actuator, we're gonna need a pneumatic valve, and also we are going to need some kind of switch and battery. So I'm gonna take apart this old Lidl's drill and hopefully use the battery and switch out of that. There we have it then, our air chamber. Really happy with how this turned out. Obviously all the problems I had originally with the potato cannon getting it to seal, and I've managed to get this to seal first time. So just goes to show my welding is getting a lot better. So we have, we've got eight bar of pressure in there and it is holding lovely. That is gonna be a perfect size reservoir power our actuator. So next thing I've got to do now, attach this onto the potato cannon and then start plumbing in all the pipes, hoses, wires, etc. Here we have the setup laid down on the bench. Chamber, valve, actuator. Let's see what happens when I press the trigger. Boom! The potato flies! Whoop whoop! So, looks like everything is working so far. Absolutely buzzing.
moment of truth. Will it or won't it? We got a button actuated potato gun. Woohoo! It looks like this beast is working. So a little recap of what this is. This is basically an air cannon that can fire out anything that you can squeeze down the barrel. But it is now all done off the press of a button. So I feel it's only right we need to test this thing out. So I don't want to go too mental so I'm going to destroy the gadget. But I found a ping pong ball and a ping pong ball actually fits down the barrel quite nicely. So let's pressure this up, test it out. Let's test it out against the Star Wars poster and see how powerful this thing now is. Jesus! Jesus! Woo! Smoke it. Wow, this thing is now awesome. It's been a really cool upgrade this. Making everything done off the press of a button makes it feel so different to what it used to feel. So if you want to see a video of me testing this thing out and seeing how good it is, please subscribe and comment below of what you want to see me fire out at the end of this barrel. Who knows, if enough people suggest it, I can always make different barrels and fire out different stuff. But for now, go back and watch some of my previous videos. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Pew!